This video is sponsored by TrueMatch. I'm Steve Kaplan for Creative Pro, and in this video we're going to look at how to use the hue and saturation adjustments inside Photoshop. We'll start by going to the Layer menu, and we'll choose New Adjustment Layer, Hue and Saturation. And depending on how you've got Photoshop set up, it'll either show the default settings, which is the primary colours, that's the old settings, or you can change it to show the prominent colours in the image. And this picks up the most frequently used colours that appear in this image. I want to start by changing the colour of this green dress to match the red one. So I'll pick the green colour and drag the hue slider to the left to change that colour. Now you can see it's affecting the colour of the skin as well. To fix that, we can reduce the range of colours changed. Here's the colour we selected, and if we drag these little sliders, we can change the range of colours. And we can drag it to the right so that the skin tone is no longer selected. The outer arrow controls the fade-off of the selection. If we drag it to the right, you can see that green starting to show through as we reduce the range. We'll drag it so we get all of that green selected, but none of the skin tone. Now we've isolated just the green of the dress, we can continue to adjust it. Let's increase the saturation, make it a bit brighter, and move the hue very slightly. And now the new dress is a good match for the old one. Those skin tones are looking a bit washed out. So let's select that colour and let's increase saturation there. And that's a stronger effect. To make them stand out even more, let's reduce the saturation or the blues in the distance. We can pick the blue, drag the saturation down, and that takes out all of that blue colour. And again, we can increase the range, so that it takes in more of the blue. There's a couple of very small green lights in the background, and I found that distracting. Now, no green appears in our prominent colours, so to fix this, we pick the scrubber, go over the green, and drag to the left to reduce the saturation. It's got most of the green, but not all of it, so once again we can just extend the range of that green and now that's all disappeared. And for all the colour changes we've made, you can see the original colour, top left, and the new colour, bottom right. So that's where we started, and here is the image after we've corrected all these colours just using the hue and saturation adjustment layer. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.